Hi, Justin Lee. Good morning, everyone. So Halloween can be a scary and stressful enough time for us humans, but what about our animals? They probably have no idea what's going on during this one kind of strange day of the year. So luckily we have some advice from the experts on how to keep your dogs, cats, you name it, safe this year. First, if you plan on trick-or-treating tomorrow, it's probably best Keep to going. leave your pets at home. Now, that's because if you're handing out candy, you'll avoid any potential disasters if your pet gets too excited or freaked out. Um, if you are keeping them at home, make sure they're away from the commotion so that they don't run off. Next, keep the treats away from your pets. Most of us know that chocolate is bad for our animals, especially dogs, but artificial sweeteners are also not very good for them, so it's best to just keep the candy out of sight, out of mind, and hey, that's not a very bad deal for us either. And third, I've been guilty of doing this. It's not always the best idea to dress your pet up in a costume. I know we all want that cute picture, but this can really be a stressful experience for our animals. So if you do decide to try a costume, just make sure you're reading your pet's body language. Some animals absolutely love seeking out social attention and having people pet and want them to sit on their lap and take photos and selfies and whatnot. But a lot of animals just like their own space. They're used to their own routine um, where they have their own, um, you know, we get, we get used to our environment. And so any shifts in their environment, they can be really sensitive. And so above all that, you know your own pet, so it's best to just monitor the situation and their needs. That was quite a bit of information, so we will have it all posted on our website and mobile app. Justin Lee, I'll send things back to you. All right, Chloe Tebow.